This space heater was sent to me to check out, um, to make a video with and show you kind of what it all included and how this works. So let's open it up and see what's in here. Okay, um, that's pretty much everything. Here is the product manual that it comes with. And then um, I think you just have the heater. That's pretty much it. So let's pull this out. So here's the heater. Um, it does have a handle on the top, which I think is really nice and a good uh, length cord. Uh, you may have to use an extension cord if you had it very far from the wall, but uh, this is pretty good length. You wanna make sure and remove this cardboard that is around the bottom here. And then if you turn this around to the back, there is a little slot right here and that's where the remote stays. So you can remove the remote here. And so you see that's a good storage space just for the remote, just slide it in there like that. My first impressions of this are pretty good. I really like the way that it looks. I like the design of it. It's very kind of sleek, um, kind of minimal looking and uh, the coloring on it, which is just kind of this black and gray. I really like that. So I think this is very nice looking. If we look at the back, there is a filter area right here that you can remove uh, to clean the filter if you need to. It does use just a regular 110 outlet. When you plug it up, the little uh, screen will light up. Go ahead and turn your power on and you'll notice that this does have a thermostat on it. So this is nice that it comes with the thermostat control. So that way you can set just whatever temperature you want and then it'll shut off when it gets to that temperature. It also has a timer function on it. So you can set a timer uh, for however many hours that you want it to go. So now we have it set for three hours. So it will automatically shut off after three hours. There is a mode button on top. When you hit it, this goes to a low power heat. Hit it again, it goes to the cool mode. And if you hit it once more, of course, you go back to the high heat. There is an oscillation button on the top. When you press it, it starts rotating. So this will rotate a total of 90 degrees back and forth. So I think that is very cool. Now there are some safety features. Like I said, the auto shut off um, after so long. And then also it has an anti-tip feature. So that way, if this starts getting tipped, it will automatically shut off. So there's a knob here on the side. And if you rotate this knob kind of downward, it pushes the air down towards the floor, down towards the bottom. And then when you rotate this back up, it will direct the airflow in the upward position. As I mentioned earlier, the remote it comes with, uh, you wanna pull the little tab out of the bottom. That way you'll be able to control this heater with this remote. So with this remote, you do want to be in front of it so the little IR sensor will work. For instance, we can press the oscillating button here on the remote and it will automatically start uh, turning for us. You can also set your timer, your temperature and everything else from the remote as well. When you power this off, there is a 15 second timer that starts counting down. So that way it's going to cool off instead of just automatically shut off. So uh, once it counts down, uh, that's enough for it to kind of cool the element off. Once it gets to the end, then it will just power off. So that's a brief look at this heater. I really like it. I think this will come in very handy this winter.